How many of you think it makes sense to combine your diet and fitness programs together? We don't think you should. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. I got a little bit of a mess going on here. I was fixing my tractor this past weekend. A lot of times when it comes to a health improvement, you'll see people combining their, their diet and their gym and it's, it's this whole big complicated uh, mess. You can get really confused when you, when you say, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna work out five days a week, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna crossfit, I'm gonna eat right. And, and you may certainly po uh, experience positive gains um, with just being you know, healthier and more active in general, but you don't really know what's working and what isn't. It's, it's not a good experiment to uh, perform on yourself because and I've seen this happen with a lot of people, myself included, where if you know you had a good week at the gym, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reward myself with some, uh, some sandwiches or, or, or disgusting, you know, junk food, um, and that that just just holds you back, and you really don't know how to be in tune with your body if you have, let's say, a heightened uh, sense of fitness, which never lasts, only for the like top five percent of people does it really become a lifestyle. The second thing is that people get sold on these before and after images. Here's this fat guy or this fat girl and oh I, I did this gym program and I ate right and look what happened in 30 days or six months. They have this before and after and everybody thinks that that when they uh, perform whatever program or, or in, in, engage in any pro whatever program, I can't speak today for some reason, that they're gonna get this body and that's what sells them, that image of a body. Um, instead of just getting the, the fundamentals worked out so it's sustainable for a very long time. This is why people go on these flip-flop diets, the yo-yo diets they're called. Oh, I'm gonna do January 1st, I'm gonna go on Atkins and they lose 10 pounds, they feel their, their self-confidence goes up a notch or two and then they just slip and fall back and most of the time worse off than they were when they started. So. It, it mucks up everything. So my, my, my suggestion is to start with the diet. Get your food, because I believe 90% of your health comes from, from what you put in your body. Um, the workout should be the cherry on the cake, no pun intended. Um, I mean, it always makes sense to be an active person. You do not want to sit in front of the television and binge watch even if you're on a, on a good diet, it's just probably not a good idea to be sedentary. Some people have sedentary jobs, you know, a lot of the tech jobs, nobody's really doing anything. That's why they, they feel that they have to compensate with some activity and I guess busy people have to go to the gym just to get their, their fitness or their, their stretch their body out. Sure, I guess, why not? But don't make it into this crazy thing where you're, you're, you think that you're working out is making making a difference. Um, if you have to squeeze in a little bit of activity uh, now and then, that's probably not a bad thing, but I wouldn't put too much emphasis on it. Focus on the diet, and that's what we're doing. We've lost probably around 90 pounds since our worst, and I, I'm guessing I have 10, 10 to 20 more to go before I, I want to bottom out where I can't really go any lower. I don't want to become emaciated. Obviously, I, I'm busy too. I work. I have a lot of household responsibilities and, and kids and so on. And, and there's, I'm definitely not sitting around. Um, but I'm going to get to the point because I, I know I have extra body fat to lose. And it, it, we're, we're taking our time with it. Um, we're not taking our time in the respect that I'm not doing anything about it. Oh, I'm just going to... I eat low carb all the time and, and the weight comes off, sometimes three pounds every couple months. But it, I have a chart and it's going down, 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 down. So what, maybe next year when, when, I'm truly, when I truly feel like I'm at the, as far as I can go in terms of perfecting the diet, then we will, we will focus on, on bringing back the muscle mass. Um, I'm sure you could argue all if you, if you, if you do have the perfect low carb diet um, or carnivore keto diet, then sure, yeah, it, it probably is not harmful to, to combine it with a fitness program. Um, 
but it's still hard to figure out what works. I mean, for me, I mean, you, all the things you read aren't true and they may not even be true for you if it's true for me. So you have to figure out exactly what, what once you can iron out and, you know, big stamp of approval your, your diet and you know what works and what doesn't, then I suppose it, it probably wouldn't hurt. Like I could probably start doing, doing the gym now and, and quite likely accelerate my, my um, achievements. I can, I'll probably drop 20 pounds in two months if I combine this current diet with a serious, you know, three to four day a week uh, strength training program. Um, but I, I just don't want to do it. I want to make sure that I, I know, know what, how far I can go. And it's possible that my, my current uh, um, expenditure level for energy is not high enough to, 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 to lose weight rapidly. I, I mean, I doubt that. I think it, it will continue get, getting better. So just be, be careful with these quick things. The 30 day things, oh, I'm gonna, I, I want 30 day results or two month results. When you, when you correct your, your food intake, it's gonna take a long time. I would say two to three years at least. I mean, you'll lose you know, maybe half your weight in the first month or two. And then the, the last part is always the hardest. And you know, along with the mistakes you make or you know, alcohol, uh, uh, that's the thing I'm working on right now. I'm, I'm tr really trying to find a correlation between alcohol and fat, body fat loss. And I think it was possible, and this is just a brief, uh, an initial theory I have, but it was easily possible to lose weight and enjoy you know, regular alcoholic beverages um, and, and lose weight. And, and then you may hit a plateau on the way down to the point where you probably have to, to go several days in a row every week uh, to, to get another few pounds uh, knocked off the block because I think, you know, alcohol in your body, I don't think, if you don't eat bad, alcohol doesn't necessarily, like, like vodka, for instance, doesn't, or, or low carb seltzers, don't make you gain weight, but they make it a whole lot harder for you to burn that stored body fat. Um, so, like, taking days off, I've noticed when I go on these streaks where I, I, I limit my alcohol consumption tremendously, that brings, that improves my body fat composition even, even more. So that, I'm working that out. And then once I figure that out, then it's gonna be on to, to build, building myself back up again. So that's my advice for you. Diet first, figure it out, perfect it, and then get down to where you wanna go in terms of body size, clothing size, and then continue the diet and then start your, your fitness program. That's, that's our recommendation based on experience and observations. Have a good week ahead and enjoy those uh, juicy burgers without the bun.